Okay guys, it's me again. It's part three. I'm going to go ahead and you see what I've done on the other couple channels, the other couple videos. So what I'm going to do is go back to the pink and with my dry brush, blend it in and blend it up. Since that you can see I have the purple and the blue way up there. Might as well bring the other one as well, the other two. So we're going to do the pink up here. And I'm just using the Hot Topic dual um, cream and powder eyeshadows. And they're cool because they come with dual colors, wet and dry. And they last a long time and the colors pop. So Hot Topic has some really cool colors if you're looking for bold colors. I like to, when I buy my MAC makeup, I buy them in the little quarter cups or half cups um, pots because they actually come with more variety. A little MAC goes a long way and you don't get stuck with a huge pot that you'll probably never use up in your lifetime so it's nice to have a bunch of them for the same price as you can buy just one so that's what I do I use what works, I use what what I like and what's affordable so I don't really have just one um, particular eyeshadow or one particular brush or one particular look that I go for, I just go for whatever kind of floats my boat so to speak so let me go ahead and grab the yellow brush. Oh, there it is, to kind of bring the yellow up. So I'm just going to go ahead and get the cream and bring it up a little bit and then go over it. So we'll lightly pull a little bit of the cream yellow up and over. And go in the corners too. There's no actual formula on how much or how little to put. Just whatever it is you like and whatever works for you because everybody's eyes are different and... You know, mine are my own shape, and you guys might be smaller or larger, so do what works and what fits for you, and you don't have to like everything I do. Just take what you like and make it your own, you know? I would love to see video responses to you guys duplicating these looks. That would be neat, so if you guys want to, definitely go ahead and do that. And there's a lot of different sides to me, you know? I don't just do makeup, and I don't just talk about business, and I don't just talk about my beliefs, you know? I just kind of do all three, I guess, and pull them off the best I can. So, as you can see, I'm just bringing it up a little bit. I like that so far. I love details, too. Details are going to bring a lot more out. I'm going to take my blush brush and just brush right here. I can see a little bit of the eyeshadow that has fallen. So, so far, so good on that look. I want to take the purple and pull, pull it back just a bit more, too, since there's some in the corners I want to kind of fill. Now on the bottom, I think I'm going to do more different um, colors as well to kind of blend them all in. I think that would be cute. Like I say, I don't stick to one look or another and I don't really plan it out, so let's see what we can come up with. Um, hmm. I have a couple of more colors that I didn't use, so let's see how we can kind of put them in together. I think I'm going to leave this part empty so I could put rhinestones or something. But, okay, let's start with a little bit of green. I'm taking this green I bought at Hot Topics. No particular brand, just the Hot Topic brand, I guess. Taking a paintbrush that I use for my green. And, yeah, let's pull it down this way. See how this is going to go. Now, if you guys heard in my other videos, I say, you know, when I do these things, like especially with the paintbrush, it reminds me of that guy from PBS. The guy that used to paint happy little trees. <laughs> And he used to be like pat, 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 and he would, I don't know, make this cute little painting out of nothing. And he would use like a few brushes and some paint. And he was on PBS for a long time, and it's just so neat to watch. I used to watch him all the time. I don't know. I guess that's what we were raised on is PBS, and it was such a great, you know, experience for kids. You had your Mr. Rogers, you had your Happy Tree Guy. You guys had, um, what else do we have? Sesame Street. How can I forget Sesame Street? I love Sesame Street. My favorite is still Cookie Monster. Although Elmo and Grover are close seconds and thirds. So, I think, guys, that I just enjoy so much of what I do. And I'm blessed that I'm able to work from home because it gives me the opportunity to kind of do my thing, be there for my child and be the creative person that I am. I mean, I go out in public like this, and like I said, I get different reactions and stuff, and it never matters to me. I mean, what matters is, is if I'm happy in life, because I spent so many, you know, years of my life 
being upset and angry and hating people, you know, for not doing or being the way I thought we should be as a family or, you know, as people. And people are who they are regardless of how we feel. And it's just, we need to let them be that way sometimes. Even if it's not exactly the best way to be, you kind of have to let people make their own mistakes. I mean, isn't that what it's about? You know, if we really love them, we're supposed to accept them as is. So, okay, I'm taking another paintbrush. I'm going to cut this, so I'm going to trim it just a little bit to make it a little bit more round at the tip. That way I have more control over the coverage. So, as you see, I made it a lot more pointy, but still like the flat. I'm going to take the orange. Now, I will warn you guys about this. It's the Grafto Beyond. Um, makeup for theatrics. The orange will stain your skin for just a little bit. But since it's the, in the name of makeup and festivities and New Year's, who cares, right? I'll just clean it off and a couple days later it'll be gone. Besides, I work from home, so I don't have to worry about that. Although I do have a friend coming over from out of town tomorrow, so... <laughs> It's going to be a great, fun way of explaining things. I'll just show him the video. <laughs> yeah, so. I really don't celebrate New Year's as far as going out and stuff. Maybe I'll have, like, something here later on for just me and my son and a friend or two or go to a movie or something, but that's the extent of that. Not really a big drinker. It never really was my thing. And I think it's because, you know, when I was younger and stuff, my mom always told me, Go ahead and go out and drink one time, and when you get drunk, see if you'll ever do it again. I was 18 years old. I went out with my friends and after work, and I was pretty responsible. I, I moved out when I was 16, so I wasn't out there partying and stuff, but one fateful night after work, I went out, I had too much to drink, made myself go into work the next day, and I absolutely almost died. <laughs> it was a long nine-hour shift being a supervisor, but... I made myself go to teach myself a lesson, and did I ever do it again? I sure did not. That was the end of that. So, and after that, just never was a big drinker. <laughs> I'm going to take, as you can see, I already put the orange and the green on. I'm going to take uh, another brush. I don't like to mix all my brushes together, especially when they're different um, paints and stuff. So, I'm going to take a thinner brush that I use for my red. Use another cream, like Hot Topic cream. And um, just go ahead and do some red where the orange left off. Which I think is great because it's going to be a nice blend all the way around. And let's bring this here. I really don't, like I said, I don't plan anything so it doesn't matter how I do it. As long as it gets done and eventually it will come out perfect. I want to ask you guys a question. It's been on my mind. And the reason why I want to ask is because... I was thinking about making, well, I'm actually going to make another video with kind of the same topic. It's like, you know, what would you attempt to do in life if you knew you could never fail at it? So that is my question to you guys, the viewer. And I want to know your answers. The question again is, what would you do, what would you attempt to do in life if you knew that you could never fail at it? You know, how far would you go in life? What would you do? And the reason why I asked that is because I watched a movie, and I forgot what it's called, something fish, I remember. I think it was with Ewan McGregor, and it's kind of an artistic film, and um, it was kind of like, like there's this witch at his, um, in his neighborhood, and he goes to her door, and, you know, um, scary old lady, whatever, and she asks him, you know, does he want to know how he's going to die. And he, she gives him the choice. And he chooses to do it. He chooses to go ahead and, and know how he's going to die. And I was wondering, you know, like why he chose that. But then he said because everything else he would attempt in life, he knew he would succeed at. Because he knew he would never die at trying those things. So it got me thinking about that. Like what would we attempt to do in life if we knew we could never fail? And to me, there's no such thing as failure anyways. It's just life's lessons. So, okay guys, I'm going to stop here right now so we can do 10-minute little videos. 
We're going to keep going with this look. Like I said, you can find me at um, youtube.com forward slash Isabel, I-S-A-B-E-L, Marie, M-A-R-I-E, the number 13 at 13. Or you can email me at isabelmarie13 at yahoo.com. Or you can find me at myspace.com forward slash Isabel Marie 13. All the same spelling, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Ciao.